let's uh, get on to the man who can tell us more about these results. We've got uh, CEO Peter Loescher. He's just been handed another five years in charge. So what's he going to do with them? Uh, let's speak to him now. Peter Loescher, good to see you. Good to have you on the program. So you've just extended your five years. So congratulations. What exactly are you going to achieve in this time? And precisely when are you going to hit that goal of 100 billion euros in sales? We set clearly out the company for a growth trajectory. We have communicated the midterm target of 100 billion. The areas where we want to grow is we would like to leverage the strong growth momentum what we see and continue to see in the emerging economies where Siemens has a very strong footprint. We want to also uh, leverage the uh, infrastructure needs uh, of uh, big cities uh, around the world with our new setup. And of course, uh, the uh, incremental growth opportunities, uh, what we see in service and in pioneering innovative markets around the world, like uh, smart grids, uh, like uh, subsea electrification, and uh, many other areas. And therefore, we have increased and we will continue Loeser? to increase uh, our innovation roadmap and therefore our research and development spend. Let's return to your results. You have missed estimates. Uh, your net income was down. One of the big reasons is because you've taken some write downs. One, I believe, on this fine to Arriva, the other from the healthcare unit. Is that the end of write downs on those two fronts, or are we going to see more? from perhaps the healthcare unit? We have uh, taken the one-offs uh, uh, clearly in terms of uh, the healthcare area. It's a pioneering uh, innovation technology in this area and uh, simply the, the technology is not yet ready for prime time. So therefore we will continue in a research and development mode and uh, this is uh, what it takes sometimes when you take uh, the pioneering risks uh, with uh, uh, really changing with a game-changing technology and uh, it's not yet ready for a commercial patient Mr. Loescher, are you going to stick with health care or are you going to perhaps uh, decide to dump it as you are with your consumer lighting division? The healthcare business is a, is a key pillar of, uh, of Siemens. It's a very, very solid uh, growth business. Uh, there are enormous needs in terms of the global uh, population is aging. Uh, all of us want to see earlier diagnostics. We want to understand uh, uh, really diseases better and therefore we see a clear long-term mega trend in this area and Siemens is perfectly positioned in this area. Understood. Let's talk about your cash. You're sitting on a lot of it. What are you going to do with it? Because you've admitted it's going to be very tough to grow going forward given the global economy. Are you going to buy companies? Are you going to give some money back to shareholders? What are you going to do with it? We have clearly set out. I mean, there's no change really what we have already communicated. Uh, uh, key objective is, of course, organic growth. And we will continue to uh, focus on add-on acquisitions. We have our game plan in, plan, uh, in place, and I think uh, the business cycle is moving towards us, and there will be great uh, opportunities for us. All right, we will look out for an acquisition from Siemens. That was Peter Loescher, President and CEO.